So we're at the top of the Wigan flight of locks on what is a really blustery day with continuous heavy, really heavy rain showers. I'm hoping there's some volunteers about because uh, I wouldn't be able to do these 21 odd locks on my own. It's just too much for me these days. Six or seven's about my limit. It's pretty quiet. I don't think there's anybody about. Birds are singing. They're happy. Fabulous old cottage there. Would have been for the lock keeper and the side building there would have been the office where they collected the uh, tolls and conducted business this fabulous old stone they built it out of cobbles So I'm standing on lock 73 of the Wigan locks, 21 locks that uh, cover a couple of miles with uh, a rise I believe of a couple of hundred foot which is incredible when you think about it. Years and years ago, I've been told that uh, this area was surrounded by slag heaps from collieries. That's all long gone now, and it's all housed in estates and industrial units here. But uh, April the 15th, it's very, very quiet. Nothing about. I'm waiting for a partner or some volunteers because it's uh, it's just too much. I can't do it all on my own. And that is what remains of a slag heap from uh, the industrial past. Nature's slowly taken over. You wouldn't know it was there unless it was pointed out to you. Start the descent of the uh, Wigan Locks as a volunteer this morning, which is going to help us down. It's a nice bright day, the wind is really really chilly, but hey, I must say I'm not looking forward to it because the lock gates leak so badly, we're going to get wet at the back. So I'm going to get wet at the back. You, you are. Just be careful going down. It's, uh, yeah. It seems 
innocuous for a start, but suddenly it'll start pouring down. Yeah, I um, I got totally drenched on the uh, Bingley five rise five ones. Rise, yeah. I had about a foot of water in the engine bay at the end. But thanks for this anyway. The wife's had open heart surgery, so can't do anything heavy. Um, so this is the top lock on the Wigan flight. The leaks on the back gates are not too bad on this one. We're not getting wet at the back at the moment, but I'm sure we will before we get to the bottom. Here you go then, out the first one. to come open a bit. If we, sorry, what's your name? Paul. Put all your hand, Dave. Hi, Dave. If, if that happens, Paul, can, can you get across the shutter for me? I will. Um, I will. I, I think we're all right. It, 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 will the water pull that one? I think it'll probably... I don't mind doing it, but... It needs must. Before the gates were slightly open, so I think it's full. 
Well, you've, well, you've been through, you've been through yeah. weekly, then you? Yeah, we spent all summer coming up from the Kennet and Avon. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm more than stick from the winter. Lovely. And then we're on our way back now. Yeah. Uh, the third lock on the way down. one on the way down, not too bad yet, the, uh, the leaky gates at the back haven't been too bad, so the water hasn't rushed over the back of the boat yet, there we are, stays opening the gate, what a star, and I'm sitting in the tail of the lock, Dave's gone down to open the next set of gates. This particular pound, the backwash comes into it like a torrent, so if I was sitting out in the middle with the breeze that's going, I'd have a job to uh, control the boat. It's much, uh, it's much easier sitting in this lock tail. There he goes, he's opening the gate. We're on our bikes. Yeah, you can see the backwash coming in here, it's, uh, it's quite fierce. to the fourth lock down, lock 69. Where do you do your boating on, on this canal? All over, we've been on your canal today. Oh, have you? We've done that through the past, uh, probably about five, six years ago. Now. Yeah. Uh, difficult canal though, it's very hard to bore on there. Yeah, it's not the easiest, is it? It's got a lot of uh, itinerants on it and what have you. Especially as you get closer to far. Yeah. yeah. The water on the back of this one. A bit fiercer, but it's still not horrendous. Well, the gates on the fifth one are wide open, go straight into these. This one down, the water's coming in on the back gates and locked on this one. Wall coming out the side walls as well. Now the windows aren't open. Six one down. Back of the boat's going to get wet with this one, cascading over the sill. Gonna get wet on this one.
lucky are we? Makes it so, so much easier. And the sun is shining. So this is lock 83. It's got lots of leaks out of the wall. Got the windows open on the boat. <laughs> you fill the boat up with water. Very nearly at the bottom now. I've lost count now. They all seem to blend into one after a while. But without exception, they've all got their own idiosyncrasies. Some leak one side, some leak the other. Thank goodness for the volunteers. They know the ins and outs of each of these locks, which ones to open one way, which gates stick, which gates leak. The knowledge is uh, invaluable. It's bad news, isn't it? Brian Epstein. <laughs> Big statue that. Uh, Liverpool Football Club supporters. All, you name it, they got it. Oh, it's the favourite, famous Albert Docks. Some pontoons over there where you can put your narrow boat. Regretfully, we haven't had time to get here in the boat. Oh, American. Bus that's a now a diner here at the docks. Brilliant. Albert Dock opened 1846, restored 1983 to 1988. Premier in here right on the Albert Dock. The famous Albert Docks in Liverpool, now gentrified. Very good though, it's great. That's clever. Oh, what? Made out of jelly beans, 15,000 jelly beans. <whistles> oh, there's an original old crane hoist over there at that warehouse.
Just take me.